Hi there, welcome to Network Security Group Demo Lab. Within this demonstration, we are going to create network security groups and also the access list to blog. And also, we will explore the default rules uh, for the inbound and outbound traffic to flow. So, I have here a virtual machine which is already created in the region South India region and uh, this virtual machine does not have any NSG. If you just go back to networking, you will find out here there is no rules. That's inbound and outbound rules has been not uh, added anything. That indicates that there is no uh, connected to any of the network security groups. So what we are going to do, is, what, what does it means is it will allow the all the traffic to this virtual machine regardless uh, it may be hackers attack or maybe RDB port or a ping everything will allow so I just uh, have done the RDB to this machine and also I have enabled the uh, firewall ping that's ICMP ping also along with the SMB this is these two are the ICMP specific so if I try to ping I'm also getting the response as soon as I disable these uh, rules if you see here I actually lost the ping specific uh, communication that indicates that actually this entire watch machine is now currently protected with the help of only Windows firewall not from the network security groups so in other way it, you are actually allowing everything to this virtual machine so it's a connected to a public IP that means it's too dangerous that um, any hacker or anybody can try to do the access for this virtual machine so how best we can protect is that comes when you are trying to design your network networking with the help of your virtual networks and network security groups so in this case there is no network card of for this virtual machine is connected to any network security group so we are going to create a network security group here so I'll just select network security group and click on add this is gonna take you to a small wizard where you can create your network security group so be sure that your virtual machine wherever it is there there only you should be actually creating your network security group so I'm gonna actually create in the region of South India I'll select and then I'll just create by giving a good meaningful name so I'll just give here as my uh, demo NSG with uh, all for resource for my subnet maybe subnet 1 and then you can apply any of the tags if you want and then click on review and create it so this might take a minute or so and once it is ready i will resume the video now the network security group has been created either you can click to go to resource or type your network security group and you'll get this icon and go back here and search for the network security group that you have just created in this case demo nsg alpha subnet one so i'm gonna apply for my subnet that's how i gave the name so if you see here there are default inbound security rules and outbound security rules were created so these two rules are coming from under settings inbound security and outbound security and if you want to delete any of these default rules and you cannot delete instead actually you can create a rule to override these default rules let's say if you see incoming uh, you are actually blocking everything here right and you're not allowing any kind of you know, traffic uh, and whereas for the outgoing you are actually allowing everything from the vnet uh, as the allow traffic if you want to block it you need to create a rule uh, instead of you delete because you cannot delete these are default rules so you would be creating the required rules so i'm going to actually not to touch anything now for the default instead i want to associate this nsg with my virtual machine one so for that 
I'll just go to network interfaces and I'll have a look on it where I can assign as we talked in the previous lecture or in the overview section we talked that NSGs can be associated with either network interfaces so these network interfaces will associate with the virtual machine definitely so that means it is directly associated to a VM right and other option is it can associate with the subnet so you can choose here a subnet that you wanted to associate so only the two way you can uh, integrate network security groups uh, for your VMs or maybe for your entire subnet when you apply for entire subnet you're gonna assign these rules that's the inbound and outbound rules uh, completely for all the resources that are part of your subnet so as a first step I'm gonna try with the network interfaces so I'll click on add uh, associate and you see here I do have here alpha 0 alpha resource that's a VM 011265 if I just open and in a new tab and portal.su.com you see here my virtual machine there's a test virtual machine has the network card that's if I just go to the networking you see here that's a network interface is associated so be sure that that's a VM 01265 I'm gonna assign uh, here VM 01265 I'm gonna so associate this so as soon as I do that uh, it's gonna block actually uh, even the ping also because now you have associated the NSG so this might take a minute or so and if I just go back to the VM in the meantime And if I just do a quick refresh because if you see here, there's no inborn and outborn rules But if I just do a quick refresh for my VM network, that's a virtual network uh, For my network interface. It's sh it is showing now inborn and outborn oh, and also it says that network security group this is the network security group is attached to the interface and it's going to process the rules so you see here the ping is completely blocked for this specific machine earlier it used to allow and also RDP is already since we have already connected uh, we were able to connect it uh, I mean the established the connection was established but if I just close this and try to do uh, a MSTSC to that virtual machine I think this is a IP 212 yes so if I try to do it says that the port is not allowed so you cannot uh, do a connection established to this virtual machine uh, for the port 3389 even if I just try to give here uh, explicitly the port 3389 also it's not gonna uh, work I'm sorry that's a one extra three 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 eight nine it's not gonna allow us and if you see here we got an error now saying that RDP connection uh, because the port is not enabled ultimately and uh, for that what I have to do is I have to create a rule so either I can do it uh, directly from this specific VM specific or if I try to do it from my network uh, security group level it's one and the same because in the back end it's going to create in the network security group so I'm going to create here for the inborn rules so I'll just have to be create in the inbound because the traffic is coming inside to the virtual machine so I'll just click on add and the source you can specify here on a specific public IP or a specific application security group so such a way you can configure it. so in my case anywhere I'm just giving so source port range is 3389 and the destination is 3389 or source port anything let them come from any port but the destination is 3389 then only allow and you can choose either it's a TCP UDP or ICMP protocol and then the priority so in my case I don't want you know give start with the hundred because I might need some more numbers so I'll just give here as maybe a 1000 PRT for my port here with the name 3389 so simply add and that would actually create and rule and it says that hey you are actually allowing from the public so it's a warning symbol and if I try to do the re again once it is created the rule if I try to do the RDP it will allow me in a minute or so so it's gonna asking me the password so that means it's actually uh, reflecting the uh, 
rule so that's why it's coming but if I try to see still the ping is not gonna work so I may have to create one more rule if I want to uh, try to ping so what I have to do is I'll just go ahead and create one more rule in the incoming or from anywhere uh, the source is any port but it should be a TCP IP specific ICMP protocol so I'll simply say here uh, ping response and click on add that's it so in a minute or so uh, here also once the rule is created it might take a minute or so to reflect and ICMP protocol should be allowed in any moment and the ping is coming up now that's good so this is how you're gonna allow for the incoming how about outbound when I say outbound you see here uh, from the virtual machine if I want to communicate outside the internet traffic let's say I want uh, maybe I'm getting maybe uh, paying google.com let's say so I'm getting the response so if I want to block everything what I can do is I should be able to create the required rule because if you see here uh, it's actually the first rule itself allowing everything every action that is coming from your virtual network to your uh, virtual network destination or anywhere and also to the internet also allowed so if you just block it uh, very similar kind of in a rule you to create and then block it then this is going to block it so that's how you can create inbound and outbound rules let's try to create one more network security group and uh, we will assign for the subnet layer and try to do uh, the f allowing maybe at the subnet level but blocking will try at the virtual machine network layer we talked about this at the NSG from the subnet layer also we would like to create this time at the virtual machine level so currently it is assigned at the VM level but not at the subnet level so I'm gonna do that in a minute so I'll just um, click on create new security group that's NSG I'm choosing the resource group giving a meaningful name choosing the proper region and that's create now the new security group has been created so let's go to the network security groups you should be able to see this is the subnet one and also you might have another one NSG winner subnet demo so this is the one which we wanted to apply for the subnet layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna as associate with the subnet level so you need to know your subnet so in my case if I just go back to other tab within this tab uh, if you see here under networking I have I have here my VNet that's a virtual network and the subnet name so the VNet is alpha hyphen VNet and the subnet is default so that's a subnet which I'm gonna assign so I'll just go back here for the association and click on subnet and click on associate and select the uh, resource the group in this case it's the alpha alpha VNet and then uh, that's my virtual network and I'm gonna associate the subnet as the default click OK that's it it's it has associated now so what happens is uh, if you look at here the default rules as per it it's gonna block everything including the RDP so in other way you are actually here blocking everything even though you are allowing here so ideally what should happen if you see here the ping response has been blocked because uh, because even the RDP also will get you know blocked once we again reinitiate the RDP the reason being we our rules uh, which is at the subnet level is completely blocking even though you are allowing here so the first level itself it will be blocked and here the traffic will be again filtered based on the rule but the traffic is not even reaching here because you are blocking at the subnet level so that's how it's gonna work I hope this entire demonstration is useful for you also when you try to create virtual machine by default it will ask you to create the network security group so let's uh, try to fill the create virtual machine wizard and see how this is gonna work actually if you see here I'm just giving VM2 as the demo purpose I'm taking either you take it the Linux or Windows it remains the same as the network security group so I'll just choose these things and I'll go back to the 
hard disks and then networking if you see here it's gonna ask for me do you want to choose the existing vnet if so that's fine otherwise it's gonna create a new vnet uh, with a different subnet and uh, this is where it's gonna ask you to uh, look for the network security group so it's gonna create the network security group automatically for you by taking this box so in the earlier demo actually I have taken as the without the network security group that's where I begin that's why it does not have any network security group but by default when you try to create it's gonna create a, this uh, with the basic or standard you can choose and you can configure the required uh, network security groups and then uh, it would give you a default network security groups rules like you know the three that's a 65,000 and 65,001 and 65,500 rules these three rules gets created the first uh, the last three rules will be created here uh, in the in incoming as well as the for the outbound also the three rules will be gets created when you create a wizard based virtual machine either with the basic or standard so that's how it's gonna work I hope uh, as I said this will be useful for you thank you for watching this